a day check. You think those mosquitoes are still out? No, it's probably too late. So as you can see, our last adventure left us stranded in the middle of nowhere in pitch darkness, playing lame songs to feel better about our predicament. All right, be safe, man. Watch out for those bugs. <laughs> But that's part of the ride and part of life. Crawling into a ball and crying about it won't help us. So we just move forward, always in good spirits. Oh, well, this is gonna suck. I still remember flying down this road together, riding in tandem, trying to illuminate as much of the road as possible with our formation, avoiding raccoons and possible oncoming cars. Oddly enough, this nighttime riding allowed for full focus on the road ahead, like a laser beam focus. Nothing else existed except you, the machine between your legs, and the road. And they were somehow all one existence in this moment. We finally broke out onto the main highway as speeds and confidence began to climb, trying not to let one outpace the other. This feeling of lights flying by you as you howl down into pitch black nothingness is probably the closest thing to how I imagine flying a spacecraft through outer space would feel like. At some point, I was hypnotized by the road and fell into a state of meditation. No fear, no worry, just a focus on a feeling that I had never felt before. A full realization that allowing fear's ugly little head to come into view would obstruct the task at hand. Somewhere, far away, I heard a voice saying, slow down, you have nothing to gain and everything to lose. I acknowledged it and went faster. There was a feeling there that I chose to continue to chase, something that I had never felt before, and I was willing to risk everything for a chance to feel everything. But that's me, I wouldn't recommend it.
full and complete faith and commitment to a decision most would find trivial. But it was my decision to make and I had made my decision and I would live with it or die with it. That is what humans do. I had never been more happy to see my riding buddy. I had gone into a zone that at the time frightened me. I was happy to be okay. I was happy to be able to eat dinner and laugh about the day that we had just had. My heart was heavy with the shame of having risked the opportunity to do that again. Maybe this is a zone men enter in times of challenge and intense focus, a zone necessary for survival. To be able to look death directly in the eyes and to challenge him. To show him that you will not go by defiantly daring him even more to take you. Laying down more reasons that he should take you in full faith that he shall not take you. Caesars is it, Chief? Make the seal sucks. <laughs> 